Yo, what's up guys? You got Lightning here coming at you with another gameplay. This game's on my main account. It's low plat at the moment. And this is the first video in my Journey to Diamond playlist. Um, so hopefully we get some good games and do some good climbing and get some elo. Um, this game is versing Annie. Uh, weirdly enough, she's got exhaust in the top lane. I just want to put my runes and masteries on the screen real quick <clears throat> because I use about six different rune pages for, for Aurelia. Uh, some of them are specific matchups, some of them are uh, just in general uh, that I think are better than, than other pages. There have been a couple of a bit of experimentation. So this rune page here, when I'm versing AP champions like Annie, uh, I like to mix the, I have about four armor, mix the armor and health per level. Um, that's just to mitigate some of the creep damage, and then I go full magic resist uh, for the blues, and then get a bit of attack damage and the attack speed. And that's just that's just out of, from testing, and that's how I like to play versus AP champions. This is the room page I always take versus AP champions. So uh, I won't hold you up. Uh, let's get into the video. Uh, be sure to like it and, and give a subscribe if you if you enjoy the video. And yeah, we'll get into it. I don't know. She's taken exhaust. It's an it's an anti main. She's got about a. Uh, Close to 200 games, about a 58% win ratio. So we'll see how it goes. She's got exhaust, so it'll be interesting. I got TP. I think we can come out on top. I started Doran's uh, shield. Oh shit! Oh, I got hit my key on. I think on the wrong key. So yeah, really good start. Uh, first game of the day. Just got home from work. Uh, if you guys are wondering, I work full time. Work at Transport and logistics, which I'm gonna go for the CS to stun. I don't mind taking the damage from her because I've got that Doran's uh Doran's shield. So I'm not really worried. Um, but I'm just trying to keep the lane. I don't really want to push it to be honest, like because they have a Zinzel. Zinzel CC with the anti stun, they could just result in a straight up death, so really don't want to get caught on that, so I'm just going to sort of keep the wave here. Try to go in after she uses her fourth stack so she can't stun me. I'm just going to keep Q farming. I can sit here Q farming forever, so that's fine. Um, as long as I get the CS, because I know eventually like, she's got level 3 advantage, so that's fine. I just want to sit back. I don't want to get stunned. Stun her there. I don't want to take any of that damage. Hopefully she'll use her uh, stun. If she doesn't, then I'm, I'm not going to go for that CS. I can't. Considering I don't have a class. So she's wanted. But now I've got level 3. So I'm only 4 CS behind, but i got a massive fucking wave coming straight at me. So that's fine. I'm pretty sure I can get all the CS on the tower. I'll accept that one. So I just get CS. CSing so easy. Try and lose Echo here. She'll stun me. That's fine. Lose that one. That's good. I'm gonna go for an E. I might put three points in E because she might throw like a rod of ages. It looks like she's running some sort of um, health per level, poss possibly. I don't know. So I'm just gonna uh, go for an E max, maybe three points in E, and then and then just go to max my W because I think that'll be better, especially since she's gonna have um, source. I might actually try and fight her soon. Like I think I can fight. Her. I want to fight her plus four six. No, I'm not. That's good. Okay. I don't mind giving my flash. Um, Zinzel's in this bush. So I'm just gonna wait. Unfortunately, the lane's not pushing me. I'm actually just. I could just back. I know Zinzel's still in the bush, so I can't come up. That's all good. But at least we know he's top. So, if, as long as he's top, he can't be bot on it. So. I'll just back now. What should I buy? What should I buy? Uh, I might actually buy some mega resist first. Uh, mega resist. Attack speed. I'm gonna get a ward because I need a ward. She doesn't have TP, so I can freeze it right here. This is the thing with you want to run exhaust into me, and I can just TP back to lane. It's it's just if I can if I can freeze it, if I can get it some damage on her and force it back. 
then she's going to be in a bit of a bad spot. See, she's already trying to push it in. I'm not going to let her. There we go. So we got us a su successful freeze off. It's 38 to 28 c uh, farm. She's probably going to try and push it in all the way. I'm not gonna let her. I just gotta keep keep it right here. Try and keep it right here because I don't want to get the king's gank present since I got no flash. She's gonna be sick soon, so I gotta be careful of that. Actually, I don't mind taking this damage. And then there we go. We've got a good freeze. I can make him miss a bit of CS. I actually hit six first for that. So she's going to go up quite a few CS to, uh, with her back, even though uh, she's probably going to have a stronger back than me. That's fine. So the wave's eventually going to push back since those minions are the tower. But uh, it's going to it's gonna slow push, so what I might do is eventually just put a big wave, shove it into a tower and then back myself. So yeah, I'm winning in CS now. I feel like I can be more useful in any, especially because I have the TP advantage. She'll, she'll have the, a strong 1v1 like with, she has CS, with, with her exhaust, but I think if I build properly, then... Went, oh my god, I missed it. She's roaming shit. I should have taken over that. I might actually use my ult to shove this in. Ideally, I would have uh, wanted to get a Sheen, but I'm not going to be able to do that, so... Oh, no, I can't. I might just go for early magic resist. If I go for these early early magic resist, um, then if she tries to burst me, I can always like re-engage on her and not take all the damage, especially with the Merc Treads, uh, along with my passive, so well, that's 10 plus the, you know, plus the tenacity you get from the Merc Treads, so that's good. Since it's uh it's like it's basically the first time I've played any in this matchup, like in the Aurelia any matchup, so I wasn't too sure, especially since she had exhaust whether I could sort of fight her. Um, but when I did fight her, I did out trade her, but then the Zal came, so. Oh, I actually fucked up my Q there. Okay. At least the lane's pushing into me, and I can try and deny her some CS. She's probably gonna. She's gonna miss that one. Shit. I wanna try and keep about four extra minions. She's got her stun as soon as she uses the stun. I do wanna fight her. So she's using her E. That's her E down. So she's had to back off. If she's not uh, last hitting with her Q, to, with her mana, then she's gonna have. Shit, mana issues. See, I can freeze this right here and make her lose even more. Just drag it out a bit. Because you don't want to freeze it like right here, because then it just goes straight into your tower and then there goes your freeze. I want to use that. There we go. See, Merc Trade's paid off. Merc tra even though I, I fucked up my Q there. So that, that was a really good um, fight in the end. Um, I knew with the Merc Trades, um, especially because she hadn't backed it, she only had a dodge, uh, bl uh, the ring. Oh, I'm just going to do some really bad CSing. I might actually try and push this in. I'll just shove in. See, we're gonna have a really strong back now with the, uh, you know, with about thirteen hundred gold, maybe even a bit more. Oh shit, no mana. Okay, I'll just take that and I'll back. See, she, uh, she's going for a haunting, guys, and the cooldown boot. So she's got the health. So I think putting a couple points in E and then maxing the W is the right choice. Uh, I might go for. A
I think Sheen's a bigger power spike. I haven't even placed my ward here, that's so bad. Uh, can I kill her? And he's going to beat me down here. I'm just going to go straight to my tower. So the Merc Treads are really coming in handy with this matchup. Yeah, do not regret the Merc, uh, Merc Treads uh, uh, purchase. Fucked up my Q. Really bad CC here. I'm actually just really trying to shove it in as fast as I can. Uh, is he even gonna meet? I don't know. Okay, it's gonna go into tower. I'm just gonna back now. What I might do is go for a, uh, a dinger. No, I have no point in giving me. No point in buying just a ruby crystal with nothing else, so I'll just buy this. I would have liked Phage second ideally, but I mean, Sting is still good. She's got no exhaust now, so she can't really slow my attack speed or anything like that. Although I do have no TP to help this guy. Just, just run. That's about the best I can do. So I've totally zoned, zoned her from this way. What I need to do now is I need to try and snowball the rest of the map because as you can see, Kate's fed, she's 4 and 2. 420. Um, they must be warded. I took a lot of damage there. She's gonna uh, prepare one of these. So if she does come up, she knows she's gonna die. If she wants any CS right now, she has to die. So 92 to 105. I'm winning in CS. She's CSing okay, I suppose, but um, she's not out CSing me, which is good. She's died twice. I actually think I need to push this out. I don't think I can just hold this wave here, because I think if I do... If any Rones and gets a, like a really good ult, she can just snowball the rest of her team and not have to worry about her, her lane. I still want to fight her. She's going to prep one of those. So she's used the E for another stack. She hit her exhaust. Wow, okay, this sucks. Three. Oh, I couldn't make it. Man, that sucked. She just she must have just got her exhaust back and then Zen came. I should have been aware of that, but I wasn't. That's that's fully my bad. At least the moon is gonna carry it and get the kill. Oh, he's gonna he's still gonna die. Tibbs is gonna kill it. So that's not ideal. Uh, I can save the tower. Oh, 16 seconds. Alright, he might get it actually. Since I'll take towers pretty quickly. Yeah, he's pretty strong. He's got his items. So he's gonna take that tower. That that's really bad. But it is what it is. Should have checked where the jungler was first. That's that's my fault. I'm gonna go around. It looks like he's still there. Or oh, is he in my jungle? He's in the jungle. There he is, in mid lane. Like, they're around mid lane. He needs to be really careful where he's, where he's farming. Especially since we're behind, obviously. <coughs> so I might just try and get this tower. I wonder if Annie's gonna make a play bot or something. She doesn't have TP, so I'll keep going until, until I have to. Zin's bot, so if Annie comes, 
She has, definitely has no exhaust now. It won't be back up yet. Got a flash. Five seconds. She's saving her stun. She's got her haunting guys. Oh, she has flash. She has W, so. Yeah, knew that would happen. Wasn't sure if I was going to get away or not, but I went for it. Uh, that was probably my fault. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I might actually go for a spirit visage. I feel like since, uh, I will need some armor eventually, but I feel like at the moment, uh, since I'm versing Annie a lot and Lux is a mid laner, I don't think I would counter Kate too much, but Zin Zhao, he's, he's spending a bit of time top, so I probably should, I should itemize with this guy, I think. Uh, might, might get like a, maybe a Frozen Heart would be good, because I don't, uh, I think I could buy like a, ra uh, Randuins against Zin is pretty good, and so Kate, maybe a Randuins would be the best choice, I think. But I really should be getting this tower. She has no TP and she's run, but I still haven't got the tower, which is really bad. She got, she got that haunting, guys. Zin's coming top. Yes, I can see it. They're doing Rotero. Got a flash. That's good. Got a free flash on him. Oh man, that was still a long pass. I want to try and zone this guy off if I can. And he's coming. That's fine. See, I zoned him off the fight and also Andy. She had to take the long way. So that was good. <clears throat> I feel like I could just one shot that now. In the spot tower, there's no one stopping him from getting the spot tower. She just used that for the way to play it. I'll take a tower shot, it's fine. I'm gonna go back to top. I don't need four people to kill Lux, and I'd rather I'd rather skip this tower. So if we can get oh shit. Got any splash. Okay, so that's huge. Probably overstated as it is. Uh, should have Kate got an ult on me, she could probably win. Maybe not with 500 health. Okay, so that was close. I, I knew I could. I, I sort of knew I had the damage for her, but um, when I went for that tower, and then she went straight on me with gave her a stun, and I had the the QW with the E. I sort of knew I was going to get that kill, but it was it was still pretty risky. But you know, sometimes you have to take sub risk to try and get ahead, and that's what I did. So we got the tower, we got the dragon, we got three kills. Probably really good for my team. Now Kate's top, so so she's going for a heavy crit build. I have the um, attack that wounds me out, slows the attack speed. Although I don't have any crit reduction yet, but I'm for the randoms. I'll get it eventually. Though. Ooh, is she gonna come forward?
That was a pretty good play. Can't complain with that at all. They killed Annie too. Four dead, four dead. Just Lux, just Lux. And she's got Ignite too, I don't... I hate it when people take um, Ignite on Lux. I really hate Ignite on Lux, because... I don't know what uh, Ignite's range is, but you barely ever get in range. Like, you barely ever want to be in range of someone to use Ignite on Lux. I think, I feel like Barrier or Heal is so much better. But yeah, I, I never take, if I ever do play Lux, for whatever reason, I never take Ignite. I don't agree with Ignite in that champion really. And I think it's showing in the matchup, because it's already talking to the Ghost. Nice, Lux died again. Hands are starting to get a bit cold, uh, warmer, so the the buttons are coming a bit more naturally. Zin's here. I can kill them easily. I have enough mana. Okay, and he's bot. I can shuffle this. It looks really weird when you're just sitting there auto attacking someone, but I wanted to save my um, alt stacks for after he knocked me out. I just, for some reason, I just like doing that. I like having the damage after he's done his little bit of damage, and it's on cooldown for like another five to eight seconds or something. I just like having my alt stacks for that moment there. Sweet, this is, this is a tower here. So we're starting to really snowball this. I feel like the matchup in mid, how Lux really just flopped it. It was really good. And he's had to come top. So that gives my team just all that space to, to do work there. I'm gonna put him in here. Okay, so my three. Okay. So I get a free back. That's my rand. Uh, why is it my rando and Zeno? Such maybe? Not quite, almost. I'll get the cooldown for it, at least. I feel like I could have gone for another damage item. But maybe, maybe after these items, because I thought Kate was really strong and she's, I don't know what she's, but Lucian's done really well, Lucian and Vorm's done really well to sort of come back from that laning phase. The Kate didn't really take off like I thought she was going to, so that's good. Um, and then Zin also, he was 4-1, and one, now he's 4-6, and six, you know. With Annie's build, I mean, it's got a lot of magic penetration, but if I've got that much health, I mean, even though uh, Leandris does, like, percent health damage, uh, with my, with my W, my healing and stuff, and healing from my ult, I just feel like she can't kiss me anymore. Oh shit, here we go. They're all coming. There we go. Get the stun on Zen. Oh shit, the bloody Tibbers, I forgot about it. I shouldn't have ignored it. That was okay though. Any okay, we got an ace basically. Nami's here. We could probably get a tower out of that. See, at least I bought what three of them top. So there was uh, Zin, Nami, and Annie, and they got the exhaust. My nation thing, and the shipping thing. And then my team was able to take care of the Lux. She doesn't. She she comboed her, uh, Oriana and still didn't have the damage to to kill her. So that just so it shows how far behind she is. She's only got two items in 27 minutes. Like probably just got her moves or whatever. So, whereas Ariana's got three items, you know, she's so she's an extra like three thousand two hundred gold up or something like that. So that's really good for us. I'm gonna go for a block because I feel like I want to block this, and especially because uh, Annie's building a lot of health. So I think a block would be a good choice. Uh, my team's going back up. Nice block. I'm gonna try and meet them because if these guys chase down, just in case these guys decide to. Uh, try and kite back or something. Okay, no, we're going dragon. Come on, dragon. So it's going for a bot. Any wards here? No wards here at all. Okay, sweet. So Zun's going for his red. This is a free dragon. So we don't want to give him any breathing space right now. We want to take all the objectives, keep getting the towers, and give them nothing to take. Because if they, if we give them some breathing room, you know, they're... Oh, nice block. Alright, my Q. Okay, that's fine. Use my flash, but we still got the kill. We still got a good push going. I like chucking. Okay, here we go. Always chuck a bolt there. So 
this? Oh, this wave's not gonna push. Shit. This wave's pushing there. Are we gonna tank this? No. Well, Kate's dead. We could probably get a, some really good damage on this tower. The ideal situation is that we could rotate the other lanes. Like, I don't really see the point in coming in here and doing this, but <laughs> you gotta follow the team, right? We want to get this. We should back out. Kate spawned. We should just be backing out of here, I think. Where's he going? Where's he going? Balls deep for the bomb. And then we've got the ult. So even though Amumu died. Didn't even need my range. I was gonna try and slow them off, but that's not gonna push. We can just end here. I don't need to mess around that, that tower. Uh, use my Triforce procs. Yeah, it's a shame of this my first video, like in my play level account, trying to climb the diamond series. Uh, I had to miss an Annie with exhaust. But if, since that's an Annie main, that just proves that Annie's a really worthless matchup for a rally. Because next time I play this matchup, I will sass the fuck out of her. She doesn't really have any chance of beating. Anyway, it looks like we won that game. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you watched it, if you liked it, give it a like. If you like my content, please subscribe. Um, got a lot more coming, and hopefully I can show you some other Aurelia matchups um, in the future. Climbing to Diamond. Um, I've taken a lot of research into different Aurelia matchups and like all the top, uh, top, top, uh, top, top champ, top right lane champions at the moment. So hopefully I can. Exp um, Make some more videos on those, some like meta champions. I mean, any top, no one really plays that, so uh, take that with a grain of salt. But anyway, that's up the video. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a like, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah! yeah.